Ladies and gentlemen, how the record low interest rates will continue after yesterday's ECB meeting depends largely on inflation. If core inflation, that means inflation without the volatile energy and food prices, rapidly approaches a 2% mark, the ECB should also raise its key interest rates more rapidly. There are indeed first signs that wages in the euro area have risen somewhat more strongly. The increase in contractual wages accelerated from 1.6% to 1.9%. After all, the unemployment rate in the euro area has fallen significantly in recent years and is now below the long-term average. According to surveys, the proportion of companies that feel limited by the lack of qualified employees is growing, also outside Germany. The rise in wage costs and thus also core inflation will probably increase sooner or later. However, this will happen very, very slowly. Even in the fully employed USA, wage growth and core inflation have hardly accelerated. Finally, the globalization of the past has exposed workers to strong competition from abroad. In addition, digitalization is increasingly plowing up the world of work and unsettling employees. All in all, core inflation in the Eurozone should rise from 1.0 to only 1.3% next year and thus fall short of the ECB's expectations. We expect the first rate hike from minus 0.4 to minus 0.3% only in autumn next year and no real rate hike cycle will follow thereafter. Thank you very much for your attention.